Hi everyone, my name is Hadi, a year 2 student currently pursuing a diploma in the environmental and water technology from the School of Life Sciences and Chemical Technology. And you're watching, of course, NP, where I'll be showing you what a day in the life of a student from my course is like. So let's go! So for today, I will be having two lessons, Civil Engineering Fundamentals from 10am to 12pm and Environmental Management Systems from 2pm to 4pm. It is about time for my first lesson, which is in school, so let's go! For this lesson, it is a tutorial, meaning that our lecturer will go through with us some practice questions from the previous chapter. This module explores the fundamental principles and practices of civil engineering, providing students with an understanding of the main types of civil engineering structures and construction processes. It focuses on physics and mathematics as they are applied into the planning of building systems and structures. Right now, we're working on a tutorial that revolves around trusses. Trusses are a framework composed of straight bars that are joined at their ends to form a rigid structure. And as you can see, there's a lot of calculations to ensure that the structure is well constructed and secure. Now that my lesson has ended, I'm feeling a little bit famished, so I'll be dropping down to Makan Place to get a quick snack. I have a bit of time now, and some of you must be wondering why I decided to join this course, Environmental and Water Technology, so I will be sharing more on that. Personally, I have a burning passion for the environment, and this stemmed from me participating in activities that revolved around the environment, such as collecting recyclables door-to-door, -door, and cleaning up public areas, such as the beach or the river. This instilled a sense of duty and fulfillment in me, being a part of the bigger picture and immersing myself in something that is bigger than myself. With the recent issues concerning the environment, such as global warming, climate change, and the rising sea levels, I believe that we all have a part to play in contributing our efforts towards it. The next module will be remote learning. In this module, we dive deep into the environmental management. This week, we learned about how to create an environmental management system and the initial environment review. Essentially, it is to create environmental goals, policies, and improvements for an organization to adhere to, and the IER serves as a baseline for an analysis of the organization prior to creating the EMS. And now, we have to do a tutorial based on the slides as well as to create a presentation on the content. Alright, now I will ask my lecturer more about this course. My lecturer, Mr. Hamdan. Mr. Hamdan, how does the school yes. prepare for students in this course to keep up with emerging technology? First and foremost, uh, we will try to get them uh, go to some immersion program and expose them to some hands-on, for example. As it will have wide space week, this is the time for the classes to be exposed to any uh, technologies, for example, drone, introduction to drone, flying the drone, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, all right. The next question is, what are some of the career paths for students in this course? For environmental water tech, the career path is very wide, right? Whether it's private companies or uh, the government sector, like for example, PUB, SEMCORP, some private companies, Axiom, you can go to the lab, that's cool, for example, uh, these are the lab testing. So there's a lot of areas that you can go uh, into. And that concludes today's episode of Of Course NP. I hope you've enjoyed a day in my life and I hope everyone here has a good day ahead. Do tell us more in the comments of which course you'd like to see next. Till next time, bye!